Let's start by assuming that z is equal to x plus i y, where x and y are real numbers. Now we are given the equation z cube is equal to the conjugate of z. Substituting the value of z, this equation can be written as x plus i y whole cube is equal to x minus i y. Opening up the left hand side, we get x cube plus 3x square times i y plus 3x times i y square plus i y cube is equal to x minus i y. This implies that x cube plus 3x square y i minus 3x y square minus i times y cube is equal to x minus i y. Moving all terms to the left hand side and separating the real and imaginary terms we get x cube minus 3x y square minus x plus i times 3x square y minus y cube plus y is equal to 0. Now equating the real and imaginary terms across the left hand side and the right hand side we have x cube minus 3xy square minus x is equal to 0 and 3x square y minus y cube plus y is equal to 0. In the first case, the equation can be written as x times in brackets x square minus 3y square minus 1 is equal to 0. Let's call this equation 1. And in the second case, the equation can be written as y times in brackets 3x square minus y square plus 1 is equal to 0. Let's call this equation 2. Now, equation 1 implies that x is equal to 0 or x square minus 3y square is equal to 1. And the second equation implies that y is equal to 0 or 3x square minus y square is equal to minus 1. Therefore, the first possibility is that x is equal to 0 and y is equal to 0. And therefore, z which is equal to x plus i y is equal to 0. The second possibility is that x is equal to 0 and 3x square minus y square is equal to minus 1. Which implies that y square is equal to 1 and therefore y is equal to plus or minus 1. Therefore, z which is equal to x plus i y is equal to plus minus i. The third possibility is that x square minus 3 y square is equal to 1 and y is equal to 0. And this implies that x square is equal to 1 or x is equal to plus minus 1. Therefore, z which is equal to x plus i y is equal to plus minus 1 in this case. And the final possibility is that x square minus 3 y square is equal to 1 and 3 x square minus y square is equal to minus 1. Let's refer to these equations as 3 and 4 respectively. Now multiplying the third equation by 3 and subtracting the fourth equation from it, we get 3 times in brackets x square minus 3y square minus in brackets 3x square minus y square is equal to 3 times 1 minus minus 1. On the left hand side, terms involving x square cancel and therefore we have minus 8y square is equal to 4 which implies that y square is equal to minus half. Now this is not possible 
because y is a real number. Therefore, there is no solution in this particular case. Therefore, to summarize, the possible values of z are 0, plus minus i, and plus minus 1. And this is the required answer.